was just kind of, you know, rusted together and most of it was in good shape. It just needed to be oiled and cleaned up. And and, and I sat in there the other day and, and this is a wide seat. I had another one that came with this really initially this bottle was originally built in 1890s but um, this one was probably made in the 20s. Uh, they made them up into the 30s and then of course tractor stuff took over. But um, a lot of the mechanisms you see on modern farm equipment are exactly the same as they were on the horse truck equipment. There isn't a whole lot of new uh, machinery out there. Uh, these pictures in 1895, but I think they made this into the 30s. Oh, okay. So um, I'm thinking that this is a later model. Oh, okay. My favorite era is the 20s. They made some really good stuff, and it was a time when horses and mules were the highest population horses and mules in this country. I'd like to get this. I noticed it before or not. I think I noticed it. I noticed this this morning. The sun was shining on it. I'm like, oh no. What's going to happen today? 
Well, we're hopefully we're going to plant some potatoes with this um, team of horses and this machine that was uh, designed in the late 1800s and uh, built through uh, the 30s. So, um, see how how well they built it. We go ahead so, over it's there? a potato planting machine made yes. by made by uh, a company called uh, Eight, uh, Iron Age um, Bateman Manufacturing Company from. Yeah, Renock, New Jersey. Here we go. First field on the left. Keep walking. Got any bad ones? Make sure that they're the right size to fit in the planter. And there's three varieties, so they're separated and all the bags are tagged. Start with potatoes, you're going to do a test row or what? No, I think we're just going to start dropping spuds in the ground. <laughs> Hope they don't blow away. You know, I, this soil is very dry, and I don't see any moisture. Well, he knew that. He knew this. All right, Denny, why don't you talk us through what you're doing here? I'm going to load this hopper with uh, seed potatoes, German butterball. This is the first time you've ever done this? Yeah. You ever tried planting them by hand? Oh, yeah. Did they the come? Tires. <laughs> come in tires. Stack tires up. Oh, yeah. We're going to start with a small amount and see how it works because these have these uh, on them, which probably is, doesn't work real well with the planter. So we're going to do 10 bags like this in this first section, then we're going to switch to a different type and then do the remainder of the German butterball and then the fingerling potatoes on the rat at the top. Just straight. And you want me to just walk and hold this the whole just way? Just until, no, no, just oh. until I get positioned, then you can oh, all right. it. Otherwise, yeah. I'm not sure yeah, what happens here. Yeah. Girls? Girls. Hey, Stu, can you keep the dust down, please? <laughs> it's your wife's job. Now, you might kind of walk along mm -hmm. and look through the discs there, you can see through the dust, mm -hmm. and just kind of see how deep you think things are getting planted. And Denny, if you want to call it when one drops, I'll put a little mark if you want to, and we can see if that That's, will work. These horses like are going to move too fast. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, the other thing to watch, we want to cover the cover the um, potatoes. Finished throwing soil, those covering discs are finished throwing soil over. We want to have it more or less level. Maybe the slight hump, but we don't want a big mound of dirt. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're going to make adjustments in. Okay, well, why don't we do a, try a few and let's yeah. see where it goes. Danny, why don't you set some in there so they drop and I'll try and watch one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Throw some, throw some in your, uh, yeah. 